Bitcoin does look like it is heading a lot lower here. Uh, what we will say though is there are some very very important buy zones that you should not be ignoring right here right now. We're going to talk about this but first let's jump in to a general daily review of the market as we do every single day and if you do see the secret code guys whack it in the comments be sure to like the video and let's jump into this. Okay, so to kick things off, let's talk about the news headlines right here. Not too much that's important. We are seeing a lot of on-chain stuff happening from the US government transferring billions in Bitcoin uh, and amount Gox, 2 billion kind of looming over the market. But uh, really, these are just drops in the bucket. I don't see these being a very, very important uh, coming forward when it comes to crypto anyway, uh, for the long term anyway. Uh, we're also seeing uh, basically the media talking about Harris back in crypto, even though she's never even talked about crypto. Uh, she's probably more anti-crypto generally so this is uh this is complete disgusting news and i, I really i'm doubting coindesk completely at, at the moment like all of these headlines are just dirt dirty okay uh, if we are looking at the crypto bubbles here we can see a bit of a red day yesterday obviously we did get that trappy trappy dump that we talked about uh, and uh yeah i mean besides that are they banging it up here 9.5 percent if we're looking at fear and greed index here we can see here uh, at 29 not too much to talk about here it has just been oscillating between kind of like 25 and 35 uh, for the past few days slash weeks so uh yeah that's fine if we are looking at the uh, ETF overviews here, we can see 81 million withdrawn yesterday. So institutions feeling a little bit more shaky across the board there. If we are looking at energy value here. Obviously, this red line is super important. If we get over it, fantastic stuff. We just go parabolic. Free money for everyone. Free money. Uh, so what we will say is, yeah, we're nowhere near that line. Obviously, we're at 58K and this is at 80K. Uh, but if we do get over that 80K, that's the time. If you've got big money and you're scared of leverage, this is where you buy. Okay, this is exactly where you buy. Besides that, probably around 44k as we'll explain later in this video we are looking at the electricity consumption continue to dump down here a little bit more of a rounding off but uh, nothing crazy coming through here uh, if we are looking at liquidity heat map if i just refresh this right here right now we can see yeah we're trying to break through this 58k level there's not actually too much support here if we do bring up the three day let's just take a look see if there's any more thicker lines here okay yeah so not really much support here it has just been trickling down not fantastic what we will say here is uh I, I would expect this to bottom out soon, but uh, let's just see if we do break the lows and, and have a bit more of a crashing scenario. Because we do have all of these orders here that the market makers will want to just gobble up. They will. They're, they're, that's what they do. Okay. When they see orders like this, they get hungry. Okay. They do. They do. Uh, let's move on to the charts. Okay. So we're talking Bitcoin. We're talking macro. We're talking uh, midterm, long term, short term, all of this good stuff. So let's just jump into this. Okay, so long term, mid term, short term, let's jump into this for Bitcoin. Obviously, we are targeting a short here if we do break down from a, essentially 50k, right? Uh, and that short will be a 7% down to the lows that we're looking for here. And I do just want to talk about these lows while we are in a sort of downtrend, sideways trappiness. I mean, we haven't actually broken this low here at 70, uh, 57.6. So as long as we hold that, there is still merit to say that we can bounce here. Okay, uh, if we'd have closed yesterday, uh, kind of underneath this, right, in terms of candle bodies as well, it was very, very close. But uh, I think we did just close slightly underneath. Yeah, you can see of the other candle body, but it's not the end of the world because we didn't close the candle body below 57.6 right? Uh, so what we are saying here is, yes, uh, it does look pretty bad right now, but it is still savable, okay? And that's really that's really uh, what we're looking at right now in terms of uh, the general market structure, okay? Uh, if we are looking at uh, the, the linear regressional growth curves, right? So this is the curve from the beginning of Bitcoin's history all the way up uh, to the present day. Uh, we have very, very important zones uh, that we like to kind of bounce around, okay? And these zones are typically uh, the supports and resistances that you should be expecting Bitcoin to hit throughout its cycles, right? So we can see the tops here coming through hitting this red line. We can see the bottoms kind of grazing this green line and bouncing off every time, right? Even our black swan events, they do tend to get saved around this green line, right? So uh, if we are looking at this right here right now, the green line is currently at 80k. Uh, not 80k, 30k. I don't know why I said 80k. <laughs> uh, the green line is, is currently at 30k. That is uh, very, very low. I don't think we get that low, but it is always a possibility. Again, as I've said before, I've said this a lot, but uh, I'm still holding to this. Uh, what I'm saying is 44k. 44k is the key zone we need to hold. If we hold 44k, it's fantastic and we can continue this bull run. There's a few reasons for this, one of them being this beautiful structural trend line, as you can see here 
year coming in. As long as we hold this trend line, we're good to go for a bull run for the next year, essentially, right? Uh, so... Yes, we need to hold that line. We can wake below it, absolutely fine. Okay, but 44K being where this purple linear regressional growth growth line is, okay? And if we do look at previous runs here, this is a key zone that we need to hold, okay? Black Swan event here did bring us down to the green line, so important to note that. But uh, usually with this purple line, if we are around it or below it, it is a fantastic buy for Bitcoin, a big juicy buy, okay? It's it's a fantastic one. So that's what we're really looking at here. Uh, in previous run-ups to bull markets, we have often pulled back to this line, uh, okay? So yes, we will be looking at this uh, coming forward uh, as an area for us to potentially pull back to if we break down from this pattern. If we don't break down from this pattern, and again, on the weekly, we talked about this uh, this cup and handle thing uh, coming through. Again, not super valid, but uh, not invalid. So technically we should be expecting to round off over the coming months uh, towards the upside and towards uh, 200K and beyond potentially here. Uh, but that is more of like a yearly kind of scope. If we're looking at right here, right now, in terms of the next few weeks slash months, uh, yes, it's, it's plausible that we do come down. Down. Uh, as long as 54k holds, we're pretty good. Okay. Uh, if 50k, if 54k doesn't hold, then uh, I do expect the bottom to be around 45k. Okay. And uh, I know a lot of people are going to hate that, but this is this is the facts. This is the the data. The data suggests this, uh, and we're going to go by the data always. Uh, in terms of my opinion, which is less valid than data, uh, we will say that. I personally think that, that we do actually round off here towards the upside. I think uh, it could be sideways and a very, very volatile on a daily. Uh, so we could get lots of sideways involatility and then massive dumps and massive pumps uh, throughout this pattern uh, over the next few months coming into it probably late September, just based on previous cycles. Bitcoin loves to dump in September because people love to avoid tax legally, I'm sure. <laughs> so uh, yes, uh, they like to book those losses on the market and then bring price back up bringing it into Q4, okay? Uh, so that is just the general way these people think. And that is where I would say that uh, it's, it's, it's it's more likely that we do get a bit of a jagged random walk here uh, between kind of the low 50s and high 60s for the next two months, I would say, right? Uh, in terms of breaking out towards the upside, all we really need to do is break 70K. If we break 70K, which is only 10K away, guys, uh, then yeah, I, I think we do bang it up to potentially all-time highs. If not, a nice 4% trade will be targeted here uh, around to the, to the all-time highs here, okay? So that is pretty much the long-term. That's the structure. That's what we're looking at. Let's move it down here to the four hour, as we can see my uh, <laughs> my paper trading contest here coming through. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the the leap. I'm I'm trying to get a high score on it, but uh, we we longed just before because usually with we, if you got a month right and you're banging it into tr traditional markets, non crypto, right? We banged it in an, on a long. We got the Black Swan event, so I've just been watching that recover slowly. We're back in profit, okay? So we held those positions, all good there. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the short term here, guys. Uh, we can see that uh, we have just broken the shorter structure, okay? Uh, so this is uh, this is obviously the crash we had, okay? We had a nice rebound. Everyone was expecting the uh, the uh, V-shaped recovery here can still happen. Okay, we're on our fifth red day in a row right now. Okay, sorry, red candle in a row right now. So uh, yeah, there is potential that we can come up here and this is a trap. But what we will say, uh, it is fairly unlikely uh, the fact that we've lost this trend line again. Okay, so we're talking about the trend line from our top here. Okay, we hit this multiple times. So this is a valid trend line. We tried to break over it. We did not. Now we have lost it. And now we are kind of falling and uh, trickling down into the abyss here. And I saw something very similar to this, um, not necessarily on the before the black swan, but yeah, so it took me a while to find this, but this is essentially what I was thinking, right? Uh, so typically uh, we can see that it is just grinding down. It doesn't matter that uh, that we get over trend lines, right? Once we get below it, it's more of a grind down and a crashing scenario to, to really test the lows again, right? So uh, that's really what I'm thinking there. Uh, and if we do just go back to present day here, guys, and we do bring up that four hour again, uh, this is essentially what I'm looking at here, okay? Uh, so if 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 it is gonna be one of these scenarios where we do wanna test 50K, I think it could be a slow drop, it could, uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of volatility in the market recently, so potentially here, uh, this can just smash it down very, very easily. So we're gonna keep an eye on this one. In terms of trades here for the midterm, okay, uh, we were looking at this 5% trade. If you did find this trade, 
Good stuff, okay? We said that essentially what you want here is a no loss scenario, okay? So once we hit that 1% take profit, taking profit at every 1%, right? Uh, you essentially move your stop loss to entry, okay? And then from that point, uh, you created that no loss scenario and you've only, you've hit a take profit, right? Uh, so that no loss scenario is super important. If you did find that, good stuff, okay? If you held the trade a little bit longer, I mean, unfortunate, we did say yesterday was a big day to day. So uh, yeah, we were avoiding this trade more than anything, but, uh, uh, yeah, if you did find it and you're an audacious fellow out there, then uh, congratulations. Uh, what we are looking for here, as I've just completely ruined this, what was I doing? I was just moving it as I'm talking. Okay, yeah, so 2.8% here we're looking for, and that is just based on losing this wick low here. Okay, uh, so if we can find that good stuff on a crashing scenario, and that would just be, um, it, it would kind of avo avoid a trap as well, right? Because if we do lose this low here and it is a crashing scenario or if it is a trap, uh, what we can expect is for this low to hold because it would need to make a higher low if it is a trap, typically, anyway. Uh, so uh, we will be watching this intently. Uh, as we've said, guys, uh, we were expecting this to come down more on the long term uh, and, and kind of retest these levels. So if we can get a low or a higher low in this area, it'll be fantastic for us setting up a grid bot. Uh, and again, the lower we go and the lower we start this grid bot, the better. So we, we want to see a confirmed low come in here on the four hour wherever it is and then we will set up a grid bot essentially between 50k and 70k but uh, as i said absolute lows for bitcoin i'm looking for around 45k uh before that we really need to hold 50 54k so 54k or 45k are really the lows that i'm looking at here if we are looking at uh, the free signals we put out yesterday actually both of these guys came through uh, this one was super risky and trappy but uh, if you did find it good stuff uh, this one was uh, very very aggressive towards the downside so you would have had to use a lower time frame in terms of entering this one uh, but again super risky coming through there uh, what we will say here as of today uh, we did target two positions here uh, on this on the free signals that we put out today uh, and that was essentially breaking this high for a 1% trade up. Uh, we did break the high, but we did say it in that video on Patreon, which again, is completely free to follow, okay? Uh, and again, it's no no payment required, all that good stuff, right? We said we needed to close the hourly candle above this, right? If we close the hourly candle above this, uh, then it would be a great sign for a long. We did not close above that, so no long, no bueno, no good, okay? Uh, what we will say here as well, we did say that we're looking for a short here. Uh, the same rule applies here. We want to see that hourly close underneath uh, this candle. Uh, we did break the low, so it is actually bearish, and entering here isn't a bad thing, okay? Entering here is actually fairly plausible. Uh, I would just have my stop loss wherever this 7 SMA is, or slightly above it anyway, uh, because typically we will bounce uh, on the 7 SMA towards the downside, right? Uh, so yeah, if you did want to enter that, good stuff. It is super trappy, this market right now, so I wouldn't really be trying to trade these lower time frames. Again, look at the bigger picture. It's a lot easier to see what's happening here. And I did have one more thing to talk about here, which would be hash ribbons, which has disappeared. Here we go. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Hash ribbons, one of the best indicators on the planet here for, for, for every asset, <laughs> well, for Bitcoin generally. But uh, in terms of uh, indicators throughout the planet, this is probably one of the best. Um, again, I did not make this, but I have changed this uh, to, to be a back testable thing. Okay. And we can see that hash rate breaking all time highs here. That's a bullish sign. That's a very, very bullish sign. So I'm I'm happy with this, right? We are still building this long position, okay? No leverage here, okay? Of course, spot. Uh, and uh, yeah, the lower this goes, the better because the miners are still mining aggressively, okay? Yes, that uh, the price for mining has gone down uh, in terms of the energy they're using to mine Bitcoin, but the hash rate is still up, mate. The hash rate is still up. So what we will say is, yeah, this this signal is, is confirmed. It is looking very, very good. If we are looking at the daily here, uh, yes, it is a little bit more in the middle. Uh, so we will be watching that. But uh, as this week closes, this is a very, very key thing to watch, all right, on the higher time frames, and, and this looks fantastic, okay? Uh, so we will be watching this. We will be watching this intently. Uh, and as of right now, it is super bullish, okay? It is super bullish. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is with this wick scenario, I know it was this one event, but typically you like to absorb the wicks towards the other side. So uh, there is merit to say that we do come up here uh, today, if not um, if not tomorrow. So yeah, watch this intently. But those are the, uh, that's everything for the video. So have a fantastic day, guys. I will see you in the next one. And uh, be sure to like the video and leave a comment. If you see, if you did see the secret code, leave a comment as well. YouTube are kind of changing their, their algorithm where they, they only really look at likes and comments. They don't look at views anymore, all right? So likes and comments, if you could like the video, I would massively appreciate it. If you could comment it, I would uh, also massively appreciate it. And I will see you very, very soon. Cheers.